What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mr. Joe's Baseball Show. It has been a little while since I've done a Baseball basic, so very excited to have this one out for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about Monty Mole. This is a character everybody knows, everybody loves him, but we've, uh, we've heard that maybe he's not so good. Uh, but just before we get into my discussion of Monty Mole, I wanted to issue a, uh, a formal apology, because I, I lied to you guys, I did. Uh, if you, you may remember in my video about uh, abilities, I said that all of the captain characters have two abilities, and all of the non-captain characters besides Toadette have one ability. However, that was just not true, because Monty Mole has five abilities, and I, I, I didn't mention that. And I'm so sorry for that, so I hope you guys can forgive me. Without further ado, let's start talking about Monty Mole's stats. So if you look down below, we've got a speed of 60, a throwing power of 30, a slap power of 45, and a charge power of 30. That doesn't sound very impressive right off the bat. He's a little quick, but his arm is bad and his slap power is bad. He can't charge. Doesn't sound too great, right? But... Then we look at his trajectory, and look right there, he's got that curve trajectory on there. That's something to look out for, because curve is a very strong ability. You know, you know, Boo, you know, King Boo, you know, Boomerang Bro, they've all got it. That's very, very good to have on a character, so Monty Mole having that does, uh, you know, bumps him up a bit in the tier list. And now we take a look at his abilities. He's got Ball Dash, which is, you know, that's a solid ability for stopping, uh, for stopping rundowns. You, you get the free out, essentially, on steals if you uh, catch someone in a pickle. He's got Laser, which I usually talk about as the best ability in the game. You can stop plays from home. Uh, body Check, nice for running the bases. You know, once you get them on base, you're going to Body Check the runners around. Super Jump, so you can make some crazy plays on the corners. And Quick Throw, you know, Quick Throw and Laser is a great combination. So Monty Mole boasting both of those. It's, he's basically unstoppable in the infield. And then his star hit is Grounder. It's not very relevant, so we're not going to really talk about it. Without further ado, let's get into Monty Mole's batting. <laughs> So, as I mentioned before, Monty Mole is one of the few characters in the game with the curve ability. And that means that Monty Mole is able to curve his hits in a way that other characters wouldn't be able to, allowing him to get singles that, you know, not many characters could. Just like that, a beautiful hit from Monty Mole. You can see he fouled off that pitch. He really stayed with it there. And that's, that's really what Monty's all about. You know, you want to keep fouling off the pitches. His curve makes it really easy to hit foul balls. And while his bat is a little long, sometimes you can miss just like that. But again, you just got to stick with it. You just got to be a Monty genius, and you'll be hitting balls like this in no time. The curve trajectory is something that only uh, three other characters in the game have, being uh, King Boo, Boo, and Boomerang Grow. So Monty having this really makes him a unique character in this game. Like, no other character is going to hit balls like this, you know. You might want to just sit down. It could be a little difficult to uh, get used to this, but if you sit down and just grind with Monty Mole and make sure that you're able to hit balls like this every time, you'll be able to hit foul balls just like that. Now, you know, you might be thinking, you know, why would I want to do that? I'm going to hit everything into foul territory. It's because that's what Monty Mole wants for you. Sometimes you just have to give in. But sometimes you're going to get a hit like that, and that is how you know you're doing things right with Monty Mole. Again, with a really long bat, you can hit a lot of things with Monty, but usually you're going to want to try to hit the foul balls. You know, really work that pitch count up for your, your opponent's pitcher. And, you know, maybe you're going to get out sometimes, but that's just how it goes. And you have to be careful with Monty, because if you're not... You might put some balls in play instead of hitting him into foul territory just like that. Again, the foul, the the curve trajectory is really what makes Monty excel at hitting foul balls in this game. Okay, so that's enough about Monty Mole's top tier batting. But let's start talking about Monty Mole's fielding. As you know, Monty has the ball dash ability, which allows him to run faster in the field while he's holding the ball. This basically means that if someone tries to steal on you and you throw the uh, you throw the ball to Monty Mole. He's, you, you better be sure that he's gunning them down wherever he is. He, he's going to find you, and he's going to chase you down. He's going to tag you out and send you back to that dugout crying to your mama. So yeah, Monty Mole having Ball Dash, a very useful ability for him, but it's not the only thing that he's able to do. Like I mentioned before, Monty Mole does have the ability Quick Throw, which allows him to release the ball very quickly after he receives it. You can see he's basically just slapping it back at Petey Piranha here while Petey has to uh, catch and release. This can be useful for, you know, turning double plays, but don't forget that he also has the ability Laser. Laser is an ability that means your power is boosted when throwing home. So by giving Monty Laser, when there's a runner running home, he's able to just make plays that no other characters would be able to make. 
So yeah, quick throw and laser, a great combination on Monty. And the fact that he has the ability ball dash is just the cherry on top for him. However, that's not all there is about Monty Mole. Now, this is going to be a little tough for me to show you, but we're going to show you that Monty Mole has the super jump ability as well. So I'll be right back with super jump. So, as I was telling you before, Monty Mole does have the ability Super Jump. As you can see, pressing the A button makes him jump very high as a Super Jump character would. This can be really useful on the corner bases because you're able to, uh, you know, jump for balls that maybe other characters wouldn't be able to reach because they have lower jumps. But Monty, you know, being a character that does it all, quick throws, laser, ball dash, body check, and of course, Super Jump to wrap that up. That's what makes Monty Mole a real big threat in the infield. You know, you put him at first base, he can ball dash to catch stealing players, and he can also Super Jump to catch things that other characters wouldn't be able to. Plus, combined with the fact that he has laser, if you were to throw the ball to Monty, and then he can quickly get rid of it with his laser to throw home if there's a runner going home, it really makes Monty Mole uh, a massively useful character in your infield. He has every tool you need to be a good character in Mario Superstar Baseball. I mean, what other character do you see that can jump as high as Monty Mole? I'll wait. Name one. There isn't, because Monty Mole is the superior character in this game. That's why Monty Mole is probably a top five character. I mean, he's no Bowser, but he can definitely play the field better than any character you've ever seen. First base is his prime position. But don't shy away from putting him at maybe third or second base, even, if you want to try out his, uh, his quick throw abilities a little more at second. But we'll take a look one more time at, uh, at what Monty can do. Look at this. He's got his ball dash and then wind up for the quick throw. I wanted him to do, uh, I wanted him to do laser. But sometimes Monty Mole does whatever he wants. So why don't we just uh, skip to the next part of the video. Alright guys, so this is normally the part of the video where I would talk about Monty Mole's chemistry. But I've actually been informed that I'm not allowed to talk about who Monty Mole affiliates himself with. Uh, I received a letter in the mail in the middle of recording this. I'm just not gonna... Not even gonna mess with it. Not gonna talk about Monty anymore. You already heard what I have to say. Don't worry about who Monty affiliates himself with. Just just consider everybody his enemy until you can, you know, until you know otherwise. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. This is usually, again, the chemistry portion, but we're just going to pretend like Monty is superior to all other characters. And you know what? Maybe that's not even pretending. That's just how things go sometimes. Sometimes you have one character who is just so clearly above the rest. And that's really what Monty Mole is in this game. You know, he's, he's the best. He has five abilities. The only character with more than two, even. Monty with five. Curve trajectory, one of four. And, you know, he just... He really reigns supreme over Mario Superstar Baseball. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy Monty Mole, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We just passed 2,000 subs not too long ago, so thank you guys so much for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy April Fool's Day. I'll see you next time.